Welcome. I'm excited to have you again today. We're going to be teaching uh, the 10th uh, part of our 12-part series that is called The Leadership Principles of Jesus Christ. Today we're going to be talking about Jesus' speaking abilities, his, the way that he delivered his messages. We would call them sermons if this were a church service, but it's not. But uh, Jesus always taught, always taught in parables. Uh, this means that he would tell stories or give graphic images while he was speaking. So statistically, 70% of all Jesus' teaching, he used this form of teaching, which was parabolic. In other words, he would, he would give you a story with a visual image and you could see it. And 70% of all of his teaching, only 30% were discourse, where there was no storyline attached to it, where you would not have any kind of a visual. So uh, as opposed to modern day messages, the modern day preacher statistically within five minutes after somebody has left the church, people have forgotten his message. Just think about that. You know what that says to me? That says to me that if I were in that position, that they forgot my message within five minutes after they left the church, that would mean that I failed. It would mean that what I said did not stick in their memories, it was not retained, so I just wasted their time. Whatever amount I talked, I just wasted their time. We must be learned to, to speak where it is visual, it is through storytelling. You know, some of my favorite preachers, they'll tell one story and I'll remember it forever. My mom was this way. You could remember what she said all of your life. You could remember 10 years, 20 years from now. And she spent 32 years preaching and you can remember exactly what she said because she would draw the stories. So Jesus illustrated this time and time and time again. One entire chapter in the book of Matthew is filled with this parabolic style. It is chapter number 13 of uh, the book of Matthew. He talks about the parable of the sower and the seed, gives the four types of seed. He talks about the pearl of great price. Uh, he talks about uh, he talks about the seed that falls by the wayside. He talks about the treasure that is hid in the field. Everything that he says, he draws pictures. Not only did he do this in this particular chapter, he did this with his disciples for three and a half years. They heard him say, oh, this seed is like, oh, this tree is like, oh, this house is like it was built on the sand. This house is like it was built on rocks. Oh, see that? Oh, oh and this tree here, the reason I curse this, everything was visual. Jesus taught parabolically. If you're going to be a good leader, you must learn how to draw s pictures with your stories, with your, with your messages. Where's the picture? If I only hear it in my ears, it will never drop down to my heart. It will never focus in my mind. I can't visualize it. Uh, some of the parables, uh, parables that he gave, for instance, in Luke chapter number 15, he gave three parables in this one particular chapter. He talked about the lost sheep. He talked about the lost coin. And then he talked about the lost son. We call it the prodigal son. 2,000 years later, how many millions and millions of times has this story been pictured by people? And the hymns that we now have, like Amazing Grace, are all taken after this particular picture. The amazing grace of God, because Jesus drew a picture and we never forget. Unless we change our homiletic, unless we change the way that we disseminate information, our messages will never carry more than a few minutes. Now people might say, well, it was good. I remember it's good. I know I enjoyed it, but I can't remember what he said. It's still a waste of time. So what can we do? The Bible is full of pictures. We can, we can talk about Abraham putting his son on the altar. We can talk about him raising the knife. It is so poignant, so powerful because there's a picture. We are filled with biblical pictures or even pictures from our own lives. And if you use a picture, the potential of my story lasting longer than five minutes is great because the possibility of longevity is great if I can just tell you a story. I wanna tell you a story. This book is full of stories and it's just waiting for you to glean these. Then pick the rest of them out of your own life encapsulated together like the woman of Samaria, just come see a man, just come see a man. They could visualize him and it drew the city to this man that was called Jesus Christ. He was a man of pictures. We better learn to draw pictures with our words or we will never be effective. 